This is a tutorial for Shining Moments Part B, B-flat instruments. I'm playing the clarinet and this is a tutorial from bars 38 till the end. Uh, at 38, you've just come off a big crescendo, so you should be playing at forte. We need a nice strong tone here. We have F, E, F, C, E, F, D, 4, 3. E, F, E, F, C, E, F, D, C, G, 4, 2. F, E, F, G, C, G, B flat, A, G, F, D, E, F, C, G, A, B flat, for 2, A, for 2, G, for 3, F. Let's do that. I'll play from 38 to 47. It's going to feel an awful lot like bar 13. Uh, yeah, nice strong tone through that section. You're carrying the melody, it's lovely. And that, because you're able to play at forte, it should make it easier to get the, the C and the D out because you've got a lot of air coming through the clarinet. Okay, from 47 to the end, um, you might want to check the uh, conducting here. It could, could change on you slightly. But uh, I'll show you the notes. You've got F, E, F, C, four, two. F, E, F, C, four, two. F, E, F, B flat, A, G, four, three. F, F, two, three, four, and finish on an A. Now in this section, you're gonna have to be, be aware of what your conductor's doing because Stringendo at 47 means that you're going to hurry it up a little bit. So your conductor might take it a little bit faster. And then uh, from bar uh, 49, you've got written there above your notes, molto rit. Uh, rit stands for slowing down and molto means um, big slowdown. So in 47 and 48, you might be playing at this slightly faster. And then from bars 49, you're going to be playing this slower and slower. So I'm going to play this with, uh, with string dando and multo rit in there. You also have to be very uh, aware of your dynamic level because uh, you'll see that from 47, you've got a crescendo. You have a little C-R-E-S-C -E written underneath your music and that means that you're going to have to increase the volume uh, think about more and more and more lovely warm air coming through your clarinet um, above 50 you've hit a fortissimo so you're really quite powerful there but in the space of only four beats you're going to have to get down to a uh, mezzo piano which is quite quiet and the following bar you're down to a piano so you've got uh, a, a wide range of sound and possibly a wide range of tempo at the end. This is where you need to be hyper alert of what your conductor is doing and what your uh, what the people around you are doing. Okay, 47. One, two, three, four. <laughs> helps you. That's the last tutorial for this um, for this piece because we've now done 38 
right to the end. It's a beautiful piece by Larry Clark and I hope this tutorial is uh, helping whoever's learning it.